Hello everybody, in this video I want to introduce you to Sites GPT. They allow you to create beautiful websites in a few minutes powered by AI. What's great about their websites is that they are mobile responsive, that means they will work great on a smartphone or a tablet which more and more people are using nowadays to view websites. They are also flexible to use, that means you don't need to know any programming and you can customize their pages and content right on SitesGPT.com. They are also free to try, that means if you keep your website subdomain as .sitesgpt.com, your website will be free forever. All their sites also run on a high-powered cloud computing environment, that means if you get a lot of visitors, their sites won't crash. To get started, click on this button on the right called Get Started for Free. Provide your email, first name, last name, and select a password and click Sign Up. Now, I already have an account, so I'm going to click Login. Now, after you log in, you're going to be greeted by this simple interface which shows the sites that you build, the domains that you registered, and the leads that your sites generates. I personally think that the simple interface is great for beginners who don't want to get confused by the nitty gritties of building websites. Now, you can use SitesGPT to build a website for your own business or for someone else's business. Now, I love tacos, so I'm actually going to look for Mexican restaurants, specifically tacos trucks in San Diego which might not have a website and I'm gonna build a website for them now you can do something similar as a side gig where you look for businesses which don't have websites and use sitesgpt.com to build their websites pretty easily and maybe charge them a fee for doing this service now let me scroll through some of them now as you see here this restaurant already has a website listed here and this one as well all right, I found a restaurant called Carnitas Las Michoacanas, which looks pretty good because it has a 4.5 star rating of 851 reviews and is also $1 sign. That means it's probably pretty good and also cheap. But as you see here, they don't have a website listed. So what I'm going to do is to use their information and maybe some of their pictures to build a website for them. So the first thing I do is to click on create new site. The first step is naming your business. What is your business called? I already have their name, so I'm just going to copy that. What kind of industry are you in? Let me search for taco. And we have an option for taco restaurant, so I'm going to go with that. Would you like to display your business location on your websites? Now you can choose to skip it if you want, but since I have their address here, I'm going to copy that. Paste there. Would you like to display your business phone number on your new website? And I see they have a phone number as well, so I'm going to copy that. Now in this step, SitesGPT wants to know about the demographic of your customers. Now if your business is geared more towards a female audience, for example if you're selling something like makeup products or hair extensions, that might apply more to females, or if you're selling something like beard products or facial hair trimmers, that might be applicable more to a male audience. But as far as I know, everybody loves tacos, so I'm going to go with both male and female and click next. Next, it's asking me if I have a logo. Now, ideally, the business should provide their logo directly to you if you were to build a website for them or you generate your own logo using either AI or a logo design service and upload your file here. For now, I'm going to look on their website and see if I can get a logo. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of their main sign here and see if that works. All right, I'm just going to upload that file here. All right, that actually does not look that bad. And I'm going to go with this for now. And click Next. Next, it's asking me to provide a color palette. Now, this decides the general vibe or theme of your website based on your business colors. And from their sign here, it looks like their business colors are red and yellow, yellow being their primary. So I'm going to select their primary color here as yellow. I'm going to go with this one. And their secondary color as red. So all the way here. And I'm going to keep the accent color as that. And as you see, that's all the steps you needed to build the first structure of your website. It's saying, we're building your site now. 
And just like that, we have the basic structure of our website ready to go with beautiful pictures of tacos and other Mexican food along with the background video of this happy lady who just received a plate of tacos. Now, if you look on the left, you can edit every single section of this website starting from the header to the individual pages to the footer. And I'm going to do a few edits in a second. But before that, I wanted to show you that the website we just generated is already up. As you see here, we have the phone number on the right that we provided. We have the exact address of this business on the map. We have some testimonials from satisfied customers. Now, of course, these were generated by AI. Ideally, you should provide your own reviews here. Now, what I don't like and I want to change about this website is the color scheme of some of these buttons and maybe some testimonials. So what I'm going to do is to start from the top and see what else I need to edit. So I'm going to start with the header and this is the logo that I added. If you have a different logo that you generate later, you can add this here. You can change the logo size based on your needs. You can remove the logo title if you want, but I think I like keeping it. You can also configure your menu here to see what you want to keep or change their order. For example, I might want to move the phone number a little bit here. And as you see, the phone number now moves. Now for each of these page sections, you can change these individual blocks. For example, if you don't want this picture and maybe want something from the actual restaurant, let me look for something here, maybe this picture of a taco. And let me take a screenshot of that. And now I can just click on it and remove this picture using this red button and upload my own file, which is the picture that I received from their Google page. And there we go. We have a picture from the actual restaurant instead of an auto generated one. I can also edit this block, which says welcome to our taco restaurant where we serve the most delicious and authentic tacos. I can instead add this piece of text, which says this informal locale offers traditional Mexican dishes such as tacos, chilaquiles and carnitas plates. And on the left, I can remove the current piece of text and add what I found. There we go. Now you can add more things here, but I just wanted to demonstrate that every single part of each section is editable. Here it says we provide top-notch services in the taco restaurant industry. Now instead of services, I want to add our delicacies, which means I want to focus on the top foods which sell from this restaurant and I want to highlight them. Now, as I mentioned before, I don't quite like how this button looks because the white color here is not that visible. So what I'm going to do is to keep the background as yellow and change the text color here. Change that to red. That means we can view them a lot better. Let me find the other buttons. Maybe this one. There we go. Now we can see the phone number and the word testimonial looks pretty yellow. I'm going to change that to red as well. Okay, now like I mentioned, we have some testimonials which are auto-generated by AI, but since we are on a Google page, we actually have some real reviews. We have this one I like from Jay, which says, you don't need to do much to get me what to eat for your restaurant. I'm gonna copy that and paste it right there. Now we can keep this image, but I actually have the image of Jay here who is a level eight local guide. So I'm going to take the picture and remove this one. And I'm going to provide his name as well. And now this is a real review from someone I found on the Google pages of Carnitas Las Michoacanas. I have one from Lester Tran, which says, very delicious Mexican food. I like it a lot. Carnitas and the six rolled tacos are bomb. Looks very real. I'm gonna copy that and paste it right there. His picture as well. Remove this one. And for the last one, I'm gonna add this review by Pedro. All right, now I'm gonna click save page and see what my website looks like. All right, looks much better. I have the logo, which I expanded a little bit. We have the red text on the button so I can see what I'm clicking on. 
we have three real testimonials from satisfied customers, which I found from the Google pages of Carnitas Las Mihuacanas. All right, now if you don't want the website to be called Carnitas Las Mihuacanas one onesitesgptcom all you need to do is to click add custom domain and request a new domain. Now either you have your own domain from a different website or you can just get the domain from SitesGPT and say, no, I need a new domain. So I'm gonna copy this. Actually, I'm gonna remove the one and see if it's available. And as you see, carnitaslasmihuacanas.com is actually available. Now this is where the first paid feature of sitesgpt.com comes into the picture and it's actually pretty cheap. So for just $10 a month, you get unlimited pages, custom images, and your custom domain that I just selected. But if you were to pay yearly, it's even cheaper. So for $96 a year or around $8 a month, you can have carnitaslasmihuacanas.com available and live on the internet. Now there's one other thing I wanted to show you before I end this video. There's this section called site leads where all the leads that your website collects from their contact us page is shown. For example, if someone clicks this contact us on the top, for example, I'm gonna provide Pedro and the subject is bulk order come have their phone number as and say i'd like to know how i can can bulk order food for my son's birthday party so if pedro wants to contact the restaurant for a bulk order for a birthday party and click let's talk here it says the form submission has been successfully received. And if you now refresh your leads page, you're gonna see all the information that was just submitted from that form just shows up here. And this is how easy it is to collect leads from your website. So now you see how easy it is to set up your website, change individual things on the website, add a custom domain if needed, and also have your website set up to collect leads using a contact form, all done within a few minutes. Now that's all I have for you today. I would like to thank sitecpt.com for sponsoring this video. If you got some value from it, make sure to click like and hit subscribe on this YouTube channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.